Whoa, hi everybody. It's your friend Corey at Mighty Mushroom or a Mighty Mushroom. I am not sure. I'm streaming from my phone here and uh, looks like the quality is a little bit better, hopefully. And um, I'm going to go over that Nike haul that we did the other day. Uh, I like to do these as open farm shows. I think it's really fun, but I'm just going to grab some stuff and show it to you. I guess I should have just had this stuff ready. That would have been a great idea. Hi everybody, it's your friend Corey at a Mighty Mushroom who can't get his shit together. Uh, I'm gonna show you that Nike stuff we got the other day. It's Some of it's posted on Poshmark, um, some of it isn't. Uh, it's some pretty cool stuff. Um, some of it has some interesting tags. This is a bucket bag with the red and black logo. This. I think this is uh, this one's made in China. Um, it appears to be from the 90s, late 90s, maybe mid 90s. Pretty cool. Hey Lauren, hopefully this looks a little bit better. Show you guys a few things, and we're gonna go over some other things too. But we'll just start with a little Nike haul. This is for sale on um, Poshmark as well. Really cool bucket bag in excellent condition. It's got the. Um, I think this is. Um, mid 90s tag as well black this is made in korea 100 percent cotton really really nice clean bag i really like um it's been so long since i've done a video by myself it's weird it's got the clasp there little uh, velcro clasp let's see if i can light a little bit better here for you okay and then let's go. Uh, I love these little Nike like totes. This one's cool. It's got, I think they made this tag. This is um, it's made in Korea. I think this tag is pre-1987 or something like that. I don't remember. I, I have a little list of all of them. I don't remember them all from, but you can see how this is embroidered. You can see how clean this is. It wasn't this clean initially. I took, um, I had this like shoe cleaner and it just has a little scrubbing vinyl brush and it really gets whites out really good. And you can see like the vibrant color of this little bag. It's really cool. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? I kind of like these weird Nike, like this is like a really long towel. Just do it. It's got like the tennis, like kind of the Andre Agassi vibe. Um, it's just like a really long towel. Pretty cool, um, vintage Nike piece. Thought I could use a little washing, but, uh, I'm going to call this a Nike haul, but I mean, there might be some other stuff in here too. We'll just go through it. And, uh, Nike challenge court is the, this is kind of a cool tag. Uh, this is made in... Thailand, which is weird, but it's like a tennis shirt. It's pretty cool. It's got a little 80s vibe to it. Um, pretty cool. Late 90s. Oh, yeah, early 90s vibe. Uh, same house. This is made. I like t shirts that are made in the United States. Vintage USA t shirts. This one has the Varney, um, the Varney tag, and it's in great condition. Check out the graphic. Really, really cool. Pull that up. I forgot I can take this phone with me now too, which is, these are funny, these are mixed in here. I just picked up some stuff at this sale. This is like new with tags, Abercrombie and bitch pants. I mean, they were only a buck or two, so I grabbed them, but most of them, smells really good. Uh, most of the stuff in here is Nike stuff. But I haven't really, I haven't even unfolded or really showed anybody this stuff. Sun Valley, Idaho, skiing shirt mixed in there. Um, yesterday's Redondo Beach, California. <laughs> so long, long sleeve, made in the USA, 
Haynes beefy too. People dislike all my videos. I have more dislikes than likes. <laughs> I was looking at my, I never look at YouTube and I'm like, why do I have so many dislikes? I guess I'm an asshole. Uh, new with tags. This, this uh, I don't know what year this challenge court stuff is from. Um, but it's got the original tag. And this was 32 bucks way back in the day. It's like a little um, zip neck. Cool. I mean, you could make this into like an awesome beach shirt or something. Sleeveless. Uh, really awesome. And let's see. What is this? Uh, this is just when they for Nike employees. I always this tag is usually means it's made. This is made in Taiwan, but usually this tag is made in the U.S. Uh, they're just little little vintage yoga pants. Not anything super special. These shoes, though, these are, if you don't know about Nike shocks, Nike shocks really do well, especially if they are new. These are really cool. Um, they're some kind of special edition. Yeah, they're in this sliding box with this really nice, um, well, they're Nike. This is a Nike ID thing, but these are weird because they're not Nike ID, but they came with a little Nike ID bag. These are um, these are three one three one seven sixes. Really cool colorway. New uh, in the original box. They're um, shocks cog, and uh, it, it says they have rubber BRS one thousand carbon they have the air on there um i paid 45 dollars for these which is a lot for me to pay for shoes but i do really really well with shocks and i rarely ever find them new so i really like to add value through having unique things in our store um it's pretty cool i only got two pairs of shoes at the sale uh these were originally these are, I think these are from, let me look at the code. They're in the original box. Uh, oh, these are so sweet. Yes. I love these shoes. I wish these were in my size. Uh, these are Zoom Air Total Conditioning. These are old school. I need to look up the code. And for some reason, I think they're from around 2000, but uh, we'll see. They're new. Um, you know, on these, like this stuff kind of yellows over time, but I've never seen these. These are Zoom Air Total Conditioning. They have a really cool tag. Um, I paid up for these two. I, I think I paid 20 for these. They were $62 in um, the year 2000, so, you know, they weren't cheap shoes. Uh, really cool look to them. I don't know how I can see if anybody's talking in the chat. If you're in the chat, I don't. I mean, I, I, oh, I saw Lauren say something. Hold on. Let's see if I can. How do I? Live chat. Okay. No, there's a live chat there. Okay, cool. Um, if you have any questions about this stuff, let me know. I don't know what the approximate value of these are. They're women's, which makes them less desirable. You can see they're from the employee store. Um, it seems like I do, I do a lot better with Nike that is, um, for men, maybe I'm just better at selling men's shoes. I'm going to go back through, um, and stop saying, um, I'm going to go back through some of this. I'm in the other room now because this other stuff is in here. Uh, this all stuff came from the same sale. A little Nautica. This thing's huge. Nautica swim trunks. I don't know why these are so giant because everything else in this house was so small. Um, let's see. I think I showed this before. I just like I like the vintage t-shirts. This is a USA made Rockford Fosgate. Here's some crap. Here's some other crap. Uh, DKNY jeans. Bam. Made in the USA. I paid three bucks for this shirt. I thought it was really cool. I love I love t-shirts. I love USA made t-shirts. And I think that this is like pretty, 
pretty cool. All this stuff came out of the same house. Um, oh, this one's great. There were just so many great t-shirts in there. Look, it's Cape Canaveral, you know, it's, or Cape Kennedy, Kennedy Space Center. Really awesome multicolor. It's not puffy, but um, it's in great condition. It doesn't have any odor and it's made in the United States. Um, the quality of the shirts made in the U.S. for me, I think, are generally better. Uh, there were a bunch of like these new old stock um, <coughs> scarves, excuse me, and um, <clears throat> this one just says Ski Bum, Ski Bum. Uh, if you watch the other haul video, I apologize. Um, I, nothing worked. So Reebok, puffy paint, weird design, cool. Apparently, people like uh, the um, phone better. I guess they just better, much better optics. Um, Tiger Woods. This is a USA made. Uh, Tiger Woods. I am Tiger Woods. I don't know if anybody wants to uh, be Tiger Woods. Uh, maybe people like Tiger Woods. I don't know. I know he was involved in some kind of scandalous activity or something, but I don't judge other people for what they do. So, in general, unless they hurt other people, um, you can never, you can never tell. But I mean, I don't judge anybody anyway. But this is a this is a cool um, Nike International. It's a weird tag. I've never seen this. It's like a weird sticker tag, Nike International. This is made in Malaysia. It's got a weird old tag on it. And um, what's really cool is that it has the Nike on the sleeve embroidered. Very cool. I love the colors of this sweatshirt. Uh, we'll keep going. I'm going to just talk about t-shirts too. Mercedes, anything embroidered like this for sports cars, this is uh, with a cool tag like that, made in the U.S., good size. Uh, this will do really, really well. It'll sell fast. should probably have it listed on the internet. Uh, we'll do some of that later. It's cold in here. Here's that black and white tag made in the U.S.A. Just a cool old vintage Nike uh, piece. And uh, independent with the uh, NS NHS, but it's made in the U.S. Independent, and it's got I think it's got it on the sleeve too, which is pretty cool. Old skateboarding stuff always does pretty awesome for me. I used to skateboard. I don't anymore. I probably won't ever again. But I feel good about it. Uh, this one has a bit of a patina on the neck, as you can see. Uh, we call that a patina. This is a USA-made late 80s shirt. It's, pretty, it's got a ridiculous, it's got a ridiculous uh, flower in the center of it, and then it's got this weird floral design on the back. I kind of like it. I would wear this shirt, most likely. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you're wondering about this shirt, I went to the estate sale of a guy who worked for a beverage company forever, and all of his shirts, all these beer shirts, I bought like all of them for a quarter each. And they're all these awesome embroidered work shirts with all the different beers on them. Um, I kept two, but I sold the other ones. I'm going to say this poem again because this is a cool, um, another cool USA made a Nike shirt. Um, there once was a woman who lived in her shoes, and became because they were Nike, she really could cruise. She ran against anyone, for she ran with a lust, and she'd kick their butt soundly as they choked on her dust. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Griffey 96, USA made. Just a simple check on the front. This is a desirable shirt, I'm sure. Griffey stuff does, in this little vintage Griffey stuff does pretty good for me. Uh, this is a, like a grail piece. Um, this is an early 80s tag. Y you never really see this tag very often. Most people will probably never find this out in the field. Some of you will. 
depends on where you are. If you're in an area where there's a lot of running and running sponsorship and like, you know, running enthusiasm, this is like really Nike running label from the early 80s. I think that one's from 83 or 84. But um, super cool. I paid up for this. I think I paid $15 for this, but um, I, I don't really like, to, I guess I shouldn't really talk about what I pay for stuff, but uh, I don't know. That doesn't, it doesn't detract from the value. I always say you shouldn't say what you paid for stuff, but these are cool because, see that? Nike Ink Sample. Uh, this person worked at Nike, obviously. Otherwise, you're not getting your hands on Nike samples that are hand-sewn and have the style code written on them. Look at that. That only that only happens with employees. So these people, they um they just moved and left the stuff behind that they didn't want. So I mean there just must have been there was boatloads of clothing and all kinds of stuff. So these are mediums made in the USA, sample running. They have the cool um they're not in perfect condition. These have been worn a lot, but they have the cool flag kind of boxy thing going on. And these are really, really nice, slightly puffy, slightly puffy. Oh, yeah, this is money. I should put this up for sale. Yeah, this is going up for sale today. July 4th is coming up. USA, Nike loves themselves, so they put the check where the stars are. Amazing. This is made in Thailand. It's vented. Somebody say something, so I know people are watching this. Um, United States track and field. So, really, really cool piece. What else is in here? Oh, nice. And then we have the matching. So maybe we should sell these as a set. Matching hat that I found in the house. A little dad hat. Let's see, try this on. The little snappy. This is um, USA made. It's so daddy. Hi, Millennial Mouse. USA matching. Check it out. Bam. And we got the jacket. Bam. We found all of them in different rooms. Something hardy har har. Nice. So. Suit jacket. Try to get that listed today. And then there's some. Just a. If it's. I like the USA made stuff. So a little USA made canvas dad hat. A little dead stock. U.S. national team hat, pretty cool. That should do pretty well. Also in the dad hat range. Uh, I showed this stuff before. This one has this weird, this is an older hat. It's so weird. Made in Taiwan, dorky, fake Nike thing. It's not fake, it's real. It came out of the employee's house, but um, yeah, I can't do good video quality and like do it with other people though, so. Man. So this is a, I think this is like kind of a gray, graily kind of piece. It's got the, it's got a weird shape to it, but um, the weird aqua on aqua, aqua hat with the aqua embroidery is really cool. Uh, I found out that these are really rare and sought after and they, they're like in the Air Presto, I think. Uh, in the Air Presto set, it has this new buck. Uh, new buck with this kind of silverized swoosh uh, made in Taiwan kind of I know this is a pretty rare hat I love Lauren and then just another Nike dad hat uh, what else is in here oh yeah this is sweet <coughs> I'm broadcasting for my iPhone and oh somebody just added something to a bundle on Poshmark. I'm trying to figure out Poshmark. I'm not doing well, just so everybody knows. Uh, Poshmark is defeating me. I started sharing way more and following people way, way more. This is a USA made. That's a later tech. I think this is 1992, 1993. Just do it. That's all it says. Nothing on the back. Just a really simple, uh, good, good colorway, I think. Vintage shirt. I oh, know I'll get there. Kayla Wayla. Instant karma gonna get you. That's really funny. 
so this shirt is not made. This is a 90s tag. I don't know, 90s tag. Uh, it says 1970 Leno Leno music, but I, I'm, 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 this is a line from Instant Karma's Gonna Get You. Uh, just do it. The funny thing about the Just Do It tagline and Instant Karma is that, um, you know, it's funny that it's on this shirt, but I know Nike, um, Nike has an interesting and sordid past. They, um, their tagline, just do it, is like inspired by a serial killer, if you didn't know. I'll look it up. I'm not making that up. It's really true. Here's, um, I thought this one was made in the U.S., but it's not. Hmm. Doesn't see where it's, doesn't see where it's made. Assembled in the Dominican Republic of USA parts. A uh, little Orca SeaWorld. I know SeaWorld has, you know, kind of gone the wayside. I don't even know. I, I wouldn't even go to SeaWorld, but I really like the design on the shirt. Uh, what else do we have here? Here, 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 here. Um, same house, Burberry socks. <laughs> these are, these are, these are just Burberry socks. Not at all. Uh, put my hat back on. All right, what else we got? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You uh, clean this guy up a little bit. There's some. These were in there. Brooks Brothers thingies. Uh, another little Nike bag with the purple on red. Weird colorway. Odd colorway. Smells kind of like milk, which isn't a good thing. Um. What else is in here that I can show you that came from there? Is that everything? I might put some stuff away. Uh, kind of a bolo. If Meslin shoes, they're not that good generally, but certain sizes of Meslin shoes um, do really, really well, um, especially monk straps right now. I find that monk straps are really selling well for me. I, I believe, I'm gonna give these a quick dusting and polishing while I'm not messing around on YouTube. Um, these are Meslin Istanbul. Anytime you can get the shoes that have a design that you can really track down, that's good. Um, these just need a little edge dressing and not, not too much, just a little, little Wonder Balm on there. A Wonder Balsam, excuse me. Um, and maybe a little bit of uh, color on these, and uh, we'll get these almost perfect. I think these are about an eighty or ninety dollar pair of shoes, seventy at the minimum. They appear to be really high quality leather. I don't think they're shell, but um, they do look like shell, shell cordovan. So um, if I can pin them down as shell, they'll sell for a lot more money. But these are really great. They have the leather on to protect the leather so the leather doesn't get all messed up the leather on the hasp there and uh so we'll get those listed let me see what else is in here oh these were beat to shit but we're gonna fix these up these are fry old old fry boots here's a little ankly boots uh really nice design on them these will go on poshmark today probably <coughs> I'm going to do some, since I'm kind of working by myself now, only with contractors again, um, I haven't really talked about it, uh, I'm just working with contractors right now, and I'm doing all my shipping and everything myself, I want to get it back, I want to get a grip back on how my business is being run, I, I stepped away a little bit too much, and you know, I was focusing on sourcing a little bit too much, and now I need to get back and figure out, um, you know, what inventory is like, start auctions. These are Taos. I don't know if these are good or not, but they kind of fit the current fashion, so I just bought them. I didn't really look them up. Other things you want to be looking for, these came out of, like, sales, just same, same sales. Um... This is a North Face Terra 40. These smaller North Face bags do really, really well in the summer. Um, I'm always buying, and if you don't know about this stuff, you know, 
the more you know, the more you grow, but old school Sony stuff is always good. This is a Sony D5. It works. It fits in this little apparatus so you can put um, an AC adapter and have like batteries on it. I mean, people collect this stuff. This is this is kind of obsolete, uh, the case, but it's two pieces. The, the radio is inside. So I paid 10 bucks for this whole unit. And if you're not familiar with, all this stuff came from the same estate. So it was like people who just had tons and tons of stuff. They lived in the same house for 30 years and then were like retired and left. So you can see it just kind of plugs in there. I know it's such a Nike haul, but this is everything that kind of came out of that house. Which is okay. Uh, D5, Sony D5. I got a really nice record player. If you didn't see, I got. I think this is is fake. It's a Gucci watch, but it's, it doesn't appear to be real. There's a few swatches. Um, we don't have a ton of stuff to list, but um, I kind of show you what I've got here on the, on, on the rack. Uh, that's going into the system here. All this spell out Nautica stuff is pretty nice. This is a lighter weight one, pretty good for the summer. Um, sorry about the orientation there. These Sony Explodes do really, really well. If you see these, pick these up. They really sell well. Uh, vintage riding boots. These were an off, not the best brand, but I liked how they looked. Anytime you can find... Um, if you're in the Pacific Northwest like this, this is Columbia, old school Columbia Delta Marsh camo. This stuff goes for crazy, crazy money sometimes. We got some old Pendleton on the rack, Kawasaki seat, some toys. Um, looks like we have some, oh geez, ah! Oh, I just fell. Yikes, okay, sorry. We have some, these are Allen Edmonds with Vibram soles, really, really nice. Um, if you can get your hands on Adidas driving shoes, get them. They just do so well right now, and um, they really shouldn't. You really shouldn't pass them up if you don't have to. Now, my fate is um, this light cube right now. So, I'm gonna practice as I preach. I stopped listing completely for a while, but you know what? I'm I'm just getting back into it, and um, I'm gonna start doing some stuff myself again. Uh, just because I want to, you know, like this is my business and I get to decide who works for me and how I determine the destiny of my business. And, uh, so I'm going to go and list some stuff in this white cube. Hey guys, thank you.